Okay, Joseph's going to help us out here with just showing his core balance. One of the things you have to be certain before you embark on anything uh, is to make sure that your core is square. Joseph's done his exercise. You can see that the bar is absolutely parallel to the lines on the mat. And if you have a mat, I would strongly encourage you to start to check yourself just to develop body awareness. Understand what kinds of things create rotation in your core or tension in your core that causes rotation in your hips. Joseph, if you just change your stance width now, let's go a little bit wider. There you go. And you can see, again, hips stay absolutely square and just wider still. And this is the way you should be checking your core. Just make sure you continue to change your stance width. And as you do, if you're core is well balanced, your hips will remain square. Okay, now that we know Joseph has a square core, we're going to take a look at his balance points. He has his balance points, he's got them offline, and uh, we're going to see what in balance and out of balance does to his body. Okay, Joseph, how many balance points are we looking at at your feet? I got three. Three? Okay, and how many total on that yardstick in front of you? Uh, three total. Okay. Why don't you, uh, if you would, move your left foot. The middle of your left foot is going to go to zero. And uh, move the middle of your right foot to one of your balance points. And once you're there, now uh, I want you to add a good bit of knee flex. And when you look down, what do you see? That I'm square. That you're square. Notice that a good way to look at this is look at your left and right knee relative to that yardstick, and you'll see they're both protruding the same amount. Okay, now when you step out of balance to a point that isn't marked, and add your knee flex, and where did your body, where did your hips go? I slightly opened a little bit. Slightly open. Okay, and do you see any? My you see, right knee is a little bit forward. Right knee is forward. To, the, to my toes, and then my left knee dropped back a little bit. Okay, now one one next point out that would be wider, but in balance, and go ahead and add your knee flex. Can you feel the difference there? I could Knees are on the same line. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when you get your balance points, if you have a bar and mat, this is how you want to check them. Go ahead, Joseph, and play with that a little bit. Go to another point of balance. You want to put the bar on, make sure your core is square, and then just add your knee flex. How's that feel? That feels really good. It's my last balance point. My knees are on the line. Okay. Good. And one more out of balance. Where's that one going? My right knee's almost on the ruler, and my left knee's dropped back. So your hips rotated left. Yeah, you feel the difference in your feet in the bow, in the center of force where the pressure is? Yeah, my right foot has pressure on the, on the toes. My left foot has almost pressure on the heels. And that's your center of force, and that would dictate where the path is going to go of the club. Okay.